Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Bumble Root and here's Buttercup once again and the Hunter Classic Jurassic Park Edition apparently. Uh, so we're here to make uh, another video, a bit of a hunt. Uh, not too sure how long this one's going to be, but um, I, have a, I have a good idea here I think. We're trying to figure out how to incorporate um, the Jeep into, into our hunting here. Uh, so Buttercup. As you may well know, she's, uh, what, are you, what are you now, level 46, so high level spotting dog. And uh, she's uh, she's pretty OP, pretty much overpowered in the game. Uh, very helpful, uh, especially in Logger's Point, can detect everything but feral hog. And I got the thinking with this new Jeep, um, this isn't really a first look at the Jeep or anything like that. There's a bunch of videos out there already on that, but uh, I was trying to think of the best way maybe we can use the Jeep with a dog. And I was thinking, once uh, once you have a high level uh, spotting dog, I'm trying to think what level that was now. Uh, let me see, level 44. At level 44, she can uh, detect uh, 200 meter radius, so 400 meter diameter on the hunter mate. So pretty much most of the hunter mate, uh, she can detect uh, a lot of the species. And I figured if we can combine that with the Jeep. A bit of a radar jeep here. Uh, so, a few things I wanted to try. Um, well, before we get going, I better check on the equipment here. I'm going to bring the uh, drilling combination rifle uh, just so we can hunt everything that comes along. And I'll bring the 243 too. Um, just if I got to take a long shot on a bobcat or a coyote or something. Uh, but pretty much uh, that's the standard setup we're, we're going with today. And uh, my plan is. I really like this Jeep with uh, buttercups. There are buttercups sitting there in the back. And uh, since the spook radius doesn't seem very long or very far on this Jeep, um, I figured I would try a few things out here, like uh, kind of radar Jeep style, drive ahead about 50 meters or so, and uh, let the dog do a scan of the area and just kind of see how effective this is. Um, no idea. <laughs> if this will work much at all, but we can uh, try a few things like small game, see if she picks up anything. Uh, nothing there. And I gotta wait 30 seconds to uh, cool down between everything, but she will she will ping the area a couple times within 30 seconds. Um, when they came out with this Jeep here, they kind of interesting key binds. Uh, everything kind of got all mixed up. Um, J is to recall your dog as well as spawn the Jeep. And so I had to fix a few things. So she's not seeing anything there. So I don't really know how this hunt's going to go, but this is this is my big plan. Uh, just to come out, send her out on a few scans here. And that should be medium game, so coyotes or anything, but she doesn't see anything there. And this is just kind of the example of what I'm going to try here. Uh, the second idea is just drive around and and even driving around apparently uh, they'll still call out beyond 150 meters or so. So you can also just drive around, wait for call, and then send her out to find them. Uh, so that was test number one. Doesn't seem very successful. Of course, I didn't drive very far. Um, I wonder which way we should try. Should we try that hill? I don't know. All right, come back here. Buttercup, we're going to jump back in here. Oh, she just teleports in, so that's good. And I'm going to try getting up this hill, going down this road here. So this is a neat addition to the game. I, I wasn't sure. Oh, there's a doe calling right now. How far away is she? Not very far. Look at that. I bet you she's still there, too. So, 
there's a lot of interest in the community to see what sort of spook range. Um, this G pad there, there it is rolling away. They're not really rolling, sliding, I guess. Um, everybody's kind of curious at this at the spook range here. But that would be about less than 150. See if we can get eyes on her. I know it's not very exciting a doe. Um, but here, we'll uh, keep uh, Buttercup's training here going. Come on, Buttercup. Or maybe that doe did spook. Because they also, uh, I guess, it sends a spook spook signal out um, when you get out of the vehicle. Come on over here. Oh, she's stuck on the Jeep. <laughs> Come on. Yeet. So that doe definitely called within range. So I bet you, yeah, okay. So that's interesting to see. Um... So the doe called about there, I guess that's that's in between, that's like 120 or so. And she's not there anymore. Buttercup would have would have detected her. So that is interesting. So she must have spooked right after the call. Probably getting out of the out of the Jeep. Yeah. Buttercup would have seen her. Come on back here. Now in case I got my keybinds messed up, I'll use the little wheel here. No, oh, okay, yep, she's gone. Alright, so that's good for balancing. That uh getting out of the car must uh spooked her there. Let's get up this hill anyway so the Jeep keeps or stops sliding down. Uh, buttercup, let's get a little further. We're gonna start going this way. There's another call. Still nothing too exciting, just a mule deer doe down by my tower. There's a there's a new little bug. The deployable towers are all half icons with half of the jeep icon so that's neat <laughs> there she she's about there all right so that that's about 200 out buttercup might not even detect her at that range she might be out of there Just give it a go make sure she's the radar is working there she's got it there so let's see if that's even what she sees Yeah, there she goes. So it's going to be a moment. I'm just going to give uh, Buttercup some practice here. Uh, locate that doe and uh, I'll bring you guys back in a bit. So you just don't have to uh, watch her walk. But all she's going to do is go out there and about 40 meters away from the doe, she's going to point and uh, bring you back in when something's happening. Okay, welcome back. I'm um, just bringing you guys back in. Nothing too exciting. It's just uh, probably a herd of mule deer doe. Um, you can see on the hunter mate, not too far away from the jeep. Um, so, uh, people that might have seen me on the forum a couple times or in the previous videos know I'm pretty much a big uh, supporter of the spotting dog in the game. I think it's great. There's just uh, you keep using the dog, you keep finding new ways of uh, making use of uh, the info she can give you. And here's another piece of info. Um, when they called down by that red dot just southwest of the tower, I marked that location. And um, when she's tracking or uh, or spotting and heading towards that direction, by just kind of looking at her trajectory and where the where the uh, um, where the mark is, um, you can get a good idea of the direction that they're walking, and uh, it kind of helps a lot. Look at that. This is I've always been curious about this when that dog spooks, like. I did a lot of tests when the dog came out to try and figure that out. But see, she's got like no spook radius when 
when she's pointing. Oh, sh it's going to spook now. You hear that whimper? They're going to spook now. Oh. See, she's just walking around in there, eh? pointing. Call her back and see if, she, see if everything runs. See, look at that. See, this is the this is what I mean. Very low spook radius on the dog when they're out there. It's it's all um, like transferred to the player. It's very strange. Um, it's always the player that does the spooking. Very rarely the dog, and that's kind of proof right there. She was right there, and uh, when the dog's pointing at the deer, uh, the deer's senses are heightened, and that's where that whimper was. Um, she could. Uh, the deer could detect me. Now that she's not pointing, the deer doesn't have a clue I'm here anymore. So it's it's very, I don't know, very interesting how they did that spook mechanic with that dog. Um, anyways, I don't have any silent weapons with me, so we'll just uh, give the drilling combo just a little bit of a level up here. There's some more practice. That's definitely overkill. I love the sound, though, on that. So, uh, I didn't really mean to show an example of that, but a lot of my videos uh, that I do with the dog, I always end up finding something interesting to see there about the spook with the dog. Uh, they're just wreck that deer. Um, but I really am liking this Jeep edition. Um, I love the fact that you can drive around. Um, now, my radar technique's not really working because I'm just, uh, we're getting the calls before, before uh, my theory gets to be put into practice um, but um, it's supposed to be my my radar Jeep kind of idea but yeah if you don't really need it if they're gonna call when you're driving around um, but I do like the fact like that this is awesome I never thought I would see like a Jurassic Park Jeep on loggers point you know just kind of like a mobile Oh, this is like a mobile tent almost. Um, can't spawn there, of course, but I've got a. I've got a, one of the ideas I had is is on the Jeep inventory. Um, since you, in multiplayer, because I do a, b a bunch of multiplayer, or used to, um, thinking of doing it again, is um, on the vehicle inventory. Um, I got the. You can have a, a passenger, and then since it's got lots of space, I can now carry these two-person tripod stands. So that's kind of cool, being able to drive around the jeep and carry one of these uh, tripod stands with their uh, hunting buddy or whatnot. So I think that's neat. Uh, so what do you think, Buttercup? We'll we'll try this again, maybe. Let's see if we. Yeah, I'm gonna drive around to see if my radar theory pans out in any kind of. Uh, scenario here so I'll bring you guys back in when something something happens ah so this is awesome <laughs> went over that rock and now we're stuck it's stuck good too can't even do anything get out and push there buttercup oh well I guess that's what the uh, tow options for open vehicle menu tow Oh, but now I can't spawn it again. Oh, no, I gotta go back to the road. Ah, uh, darn. Okay, so, well, that's... Well, that's a neat, interesting uh, kind of balancing issue there, too. Um, yeah, you really gotta be careful when you go off-road, because if you get, get stuck, you gotta go right back again and uh, to spawn it again. So that's kind of, at least encourages you to be... Um, She's detected a rabbit or a pheasant. Um, that really encourages you to be careful. And I can see why they said it wasn't supposed to work on Pika Bean Bay and... Uh, um, um, what's the Arctic one called again? Anyways, the snow one. Um, White Rime Ridge. Because um, there's no roads to respawn your vehicle, right? But uh, I've seen Who Cares video there and he... <laughs> shows they work which I'm happy about because I want them to work on those two maps uh, but yeah if you get them stuck you yeah I guess you'd have to go right back to the lodge uh, so since I'm here anyways I was just gonna send send the old uh, sonar out to see what uh, buttercup found she just found small game which isn't a big surprise pheasants and rabbits will be around here but uh, I'm a deer hunter and 
um, but I like to cycle through and see see what she finds. And it's a 30 second cool down. Oh no, that wasn't 30 seconds. Hmm, I don't know, it's supposed to be 30 seconds, but uh, call her back. Well, I might as well see what she she found there at small game land here. Oh, she's out of range. Try again. There, okay. So I imagine we'll switch it over to bird shot mode. Take the scope off. And, uh, well, who knows how far this is. Pheasant or rabbit? Hmm. Probably, uh, probably rabbit. I haven't heard any pheasants calling. But, uh, the only thing with the spotting dog is you never really know if you do this how far it is away. If you're walking around and the dog's, like, actively trying to detect something, and it detects something, you know it's about 200 meters out, so you know she's got a ways to go, but... For all I know, this rabbit's not very far. So we'll take a look. We'll show some small game hunting. I mean, I don't know how long I was going to make this video. It might be a couple parts. Um, who knows? But, um... I mean, it's always good to just see how, how like a higher level spotting dog would you know, works and tips and tricks and hints on how to use it. I mean, it's very handy the information it can provide, just indirect information, direction stuff's going. It can do the job of of a scent hound as well. Um, not directly what it can do, but it can detect the wounded animal as long as the animal is still alive again. She'll track it down even more effectively than the, the bloodhound. So once she... Uh, oh, I'm going to spook something. It's going to be the rabbit. So she's pointing... The thing is, she's 46, so... Um, yeah, she's still going to be 30 meters away. Level 49, it increases to 40 meters, the distance she points at. So, 30 meters that direction should be a rabbit. That's one thing they really shine at. If you just get one of these dogs and uh, right out of the gate, all they can really do is do small game. Even the, even at that level, they can just decimate an entire area. Like no rabbit can hide from the dog. So, so that rabbit should have spooked or be spooking by now. Oh, there's a the track. Probably. Oh, no, oh, right there. Easy peasy. Can I get spotting information? Where's the spot? Come on. <laughs> Just spot it right there. All right, there we go. Oh, something running off in the distance. Oh, more rabbits. Yeah, so you can you can spend a good hour just here with the dog, just getting every single rabbit. So, what do we have here? Headshot, female, one point three. Good. Well, that's okay, cause now um closer to the road, so we'll just run back. Reload the gun, spot, or spawn that uh, 
Jeep. And we'll continue on. Okay, so nothing exciting at the moment, but I did want to show you sort of uh, the plan I had uh, just to see if this is a, a thing. The radar Jeep, the 400 meter um, a diameter radar Jeep with the dog here. Um, to speed up the process, I'm just going to be looking for, do or looking for a deer. Um, but all I'm really doing is driving, I don't know, 50 meters or something. Driving a little ways. I'm pretty sure she can't detect while in the Jeep. No. Let's just kind of drive out here. You know, uh, render in some deer maybe. Get out and uh, see if she picks up anything. But that's all I'm kind of really doing. I'm just curious if it'll work. Um, so far it hasn't, so so much for my big radar jeep idea. Uh, where am I though? But I haven't really gone too, too far, and I should turn this way more. But it also helps if you just, uh, you know, just want to go around looking for heavy tracks. You can, you can see the tracks fine, you just have to get out and check them. Um, there's, there's a deer running off there now. And it looks like there's some antlers on them. We might check this out. So what range was that at? Oh, there he is there now. Nope, oh, he's jumping around there. Hmm, I wonder what range he was at. Like 150 meters or so? I mean, I keep seeing... Oh, that's a pheasant. Oh, that's not a deer. Waving off there in the distance. Oh, the, the jeep's pushing me. <laughs> okay. Look out, buttercup! Wow. <laughs> like how it slides. Um. Should we go after him and and see? What do you think here? Do you see any? Detect anybody? No. So let's see, um, drive a little bit more that direction, and oh, um, wrong side. Let's just go a little further here. I mean, I'm thinking that it's uh, not necessarily the Jeep spooking, it's the getting out. That is my guess right now. Which is a good balancing thing. Oh! What the... Is that a deer flying? What? Is that... I don't know, I have a head cold, so maybe I'm seeing things. I'm gonna have to replay the recording back and uh... <laughs> Say if I'm imagining things, or looked like there was a deer floating in the air over here. Hmm. Anything? No. Looks like my radar idea is not going to work, which is fine, because that would be a little bit overpowered just driving around. This little dog radar. Oh, she's got something there. Where are you, Buttercup? Maybe she picked up something there. And, okay, not you, Pheasant. Alright, so she's heading off 
to the east. All right, I'll bring you guys back in when she uh, points out what what she found there. Okay, so there she is. Uh, she just detected this mill deer up here. Um, so what I want to do? Call her back. We're gonna shoot that doe. Spin around. 360 headshot on this pheasant in the air while switching to uh, bird shot. That's fine. It can't fail, right? Alright, let's just do that. Oh, I need to scope that distance though. And this gun is super wobbly for me. Um, Alright. And flip and 360 headshot. That wasn't the right pheasant. <laughs> that was a, that was a hen. Uh, well, the plan was sound. Okay, let's mark. Did she? I don't even. I wasn't even paying attention. Did she fall or? Let's uh, find out in a second. All right, let's go just get that hen. <laughs> I wonder where the, where the big guy went. Oh, it wasn't a hen. All right, that, that's my head cold for you. I d it did work. Look at that. Jeez. 23. Mind. Hey, Buttercup, I do know what I'm doing sometimes. Alright, let's go. Well, let's see if the doe fell, though. I was so uh, focused on zooming out the scope and switching to bird shot that I wasn't even really watching what happened to the deer. Oh, you know what? Let's get the Jeep and drive over there. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go over there and see if she's there. But nothing exciting there, so I'll save some of the some of the video time here, and I'll bring you guys back in when something else is happening. No, okay, thanks for coming back after that. Um, let me see here. So I was trying to figure out, yeah, how long a video to do, but I think I'll end it because uh, it's getting pretty long just for the one one video. I stumbled upon uh, uh, the five brothers here. So yeah, that doe I did get, it just dropped. It was a heart shot, so uh, that was awesome. And I just started sort of driving to continue on and see if my radar thing will work. At this point, I think the Jeep radar thing's <laughs> kind of busted. You can't, you can't really pull it off. They'll, they'll spook or spook when you get out of the Jeep or something. Now I gotta do some more testing on it, but it did come across the five brothers, and some of them were spooked, and They've, they're kind of spread out here, uh, so I figured I'd end the video just looking at these guys. Oh, can't seem to stand up there. So he's he's look pretty decent. He's probably 180 or something, 170 to 120. And but he's coming in too fast. I wanted to see the others. The others are over here. All right, he's small. There's another one there. He's tiny. So they, they got separated there. Um, there's no doubt the Jeep spooking them. Or the... Yeah, definitely the Jeep. So I was driving. I spotted them at... Um, oh, did he see me? Um, I spotted them with the extended render, render range, so... I guess we'll just take this guy because he's decent size there. Um, oh, and there's the fourth one. I don't know where the fifth one is. Uh, hey, he's alright too. The other one's going to be on top of me here in a second though. What are you scoring? Nope, this one's bigger. Spin around. I wonder if I can get a couple. Maybe this 
this one? Where are you? Hmm. No idea. No idea. All right, we will mark that. Let's see what this guy scores. He's looking all right. Come on, Buttercup. Let's take a look. What do we got here? All that grass in the way. Survey says. 193. Not too bad at all, though. Just for driving around. I'll take that. Hey, buddy. I better look here. Yeah, he's probably the biggest out of the five. Good. They changed that, too. When you're trying to hit this taxi dermy window, it moves the camera around when you move the mouse around. Nope. All right. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, I'm just gonna grab the Jeep, drive over there, and, uh, yeah, just kind of see what the result is, bring you guys back in, depending on that, we'll see if we end the video or not, uh, so we'll just, uh, yep, be right back. Okay, guys, well, I missed. I couldn't find any blood, so, uh, I think that'll be it, uh, for this one. Um, yeah, I was hoping that, uh, that my little uh, radar jeep thing might work there, uh, but it does seem like the spook radius is enough, and I don't know if it's uh, the driving around or the or the exiting the vehicle. They were saying that exiting the vehicle made spooking as well, so I don't know. That needs a bit more testing, uh, but I think this is a fantastic addition to the game. That's really awesome, um, and uh, yeah, and I just kind of like the fact that you know you can have your tent here, your jeep parked next to it, and your dog. Which my dog's buttercups over there because I couldn't. She did. She doesn't want any part of this anymore, uh, so she's over there. Uh, but that's about it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm hoping to do a bit more videos uh, here in the future. I got a couple more ideas with the Jeep, and I was hoping on um, maybe doing a couple multiplayer things. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, take care.